Okay, hello, hello and welcome. <laughs> I'm getting carried away before doing me bits. I, um, I've just put the masking tape on the back of my canvas. This is a 60 by 30. I've got my giant push pins. I use my little hammer. <coughs> hammer them in. Sorry about the loud noise. In, in like flin. That's done and dusted and then you've got a nice surface to um, be able to tilt and do anything with and then place it back down and stays nicely so that's my um, preparation for my canvas and having that masking tape on the back make sure it stays nice and clean so when you've finished and it's all dry you can pull the masking tape off and the back of the canvas is clean you can also, if you want to cover the whole of the canvas up to sell it, you can buy the very heavy, thick brown paper and actually cut out the brown paper and staple it in so it doesn't show any of your canvas. That's probably only a, um, a thing that I would do if I was selling you know, the canvas uh, actually selling it for a good amount of money because then you put all of your best um, preparation for it into um, the finishing product finishing the product really well so so we're gonna do a little um pour today in some odd colors I, I think they're probably odd well no they're not odd i am going to use a green uh no what was i going to say i was going to use okay i'm going to use silver and metallic black but it's almost like um gray not you know so it's they're both metallics so i'm going to do a thing where i put the silver down the center I will get my little um, off my little um, palette knife or it's supposed to be for ice and cake so I love these little spatulas they being um, the angle that they are they work pretty well I'm going to Do that down here. Now take out any straight lines because we don't want straight lines, do we? We love curves. Voluptuous curves, there you go. Then on the outside, I will put the um, metallic black. These are global colors. That probably needs a little bit thinning down, but we'll see how we go. So it's probably going to be a bit dark and moody, isn't it, with these two colours? But I hope to um, liven it all up with the colours that I'm going to put in there. It's very metal looking, very modern, ultra modern type of colours, I would say. So just taking your time and enjoy this part of the process it's quite relaxing just smearing your um, paint over the canvas I'm not going to worry too much about my edges because that might get all blown over well it will get blown over hopefully and now I am going to put okay I'm going to go dark and moody in this one with a bit of bright pop, I suppose. So this is navy. It's the, na the custom navy that I make up out of phalo blue and a blob of black and a blob of a blob, a blob of dark green deep. righty O. I'm going to put some, now this will brighten it up, Ooh. 
this will brighten it up which is the turquoise so they're all colors that should go nicely together just don't want too much in here I don't think um, and then I've just got this tiny little bit of uh, berry delicious left that I want to put in there so I'm going to just put in some of that berry delicious run that on the inside there Just using that up just hoping that that's not going to be too dark so, well I think I best try it before I go throwing any more um, paint into that so we just give it a go it's like claret claret and blue oh, it's turquoise and very delicious so I'll just pour a bit more of that metallic grey hopefully it will blow out let's give this a go with my blower just want a little bit more it's already selling up without doing anything that's weird that is weird okay I'll whiz over with the heat get rid of any air bubbles Look at that selling up so that's weird okay let me see how I will blow this how I will I need to... trousers and that blew the paint over my canvas quite well <laughs> I'm not sure what it looks like on that side I'll probably have to come back and put some more paint on that on your side wow that is the weirdest one I've ever done what do you think uh, certainly not my colors but it's absolutely selled up like crazy and i've just got the most feeling that i really need to put something bright in it but lots of people um suit those colors or like those colors they're not like me like the bright and in your face colors so i will just bring you down and give you a look see and see what you think oh wow <laughs> this cells have gone absolutely crazy this is my normal pouring medium of the clear glue and water mixed into my paint with a good dash of flow troll like maybe a dessert spoon or tea a dessert spoon of flow troll in it's just gone crazy but i am not crazy about those colors at all but you've got to do things that, you know, that you're not always crazy about, I guess. So I will let you be my judge. What do you think? I mean, they obviously would suit some people and not others. But look at this crazy lace over that metallic black. It looks um, 
so cool. So I want to thank you guys for joining me again and please let me know what you think of these crazy colours. Um, I am very tempted to scrape this one. Very tempted because I think, no, it's not me at all. But then you can't always do things, I suppose, for yourself. But no, yeah, you should do things for yourself. Anyway, anyway, you people take care and until tomorrow, bye for now.